In this tutorial, we will teach you how to make a movie clipboard in Adobe Illustrator. To create a film slate, first make a rounded rectangle with the dimensions 190 point by 150 point and radius 8 point. Offset its path by going to the Object menu, dropping down to Path, and then selecting the Offset Path option. Select the offset to be 16 point. Choose the larger rectangle and add gradient to it. Keep the gradient slider on the right to 80% black and the one on the left to 50% black. Make an ellipse of 385 point by 230 point and position the bottom of the ellipse at the center of the rectangles. Select the copy and the ellipse and intersect the two shapes from the Pathfinder panel. The Pathfinder panel can be opened from the Window menu. After intersecting, keep selecting these shapes and expand them. Next, add gradients to the intersected shape and the smaller original rectangle. Choose any color to fill in the gradient sliders. Once done, remove the strokes from these illustrations and offset the paths of both rectangles by two point. Add a gray gradient to the offset shape. To make the claps existing on top of the slate, create another rectangle with the dimensions 240 point by 28 point. Add gradient to it with three gradient sliders, the extreme right and left ones being 20% black while the center one being white. Take the gradient slider in the middle to the right and in between the two gradient sliders at the right, add another one which is 85% black. Set its angle at 90. Draw another rectangle which is 16 point by 64 point. Drag it to the clap that you just made and rotate it. Now copy, then paste it and move it to the other side of the clap. Select both of these rectangles and go to the Object menu. From there, go to Blend and open its options. In Spacing, open the drop-down menu and choose Specified Steps and enter 3 as its value. Press OK. Keep selecting the two rectangles and then go Object, Blend, Make. Now copy and paste the clap, bring it on top of the smaller rectangles and send it backward. Select the copy and the smaller rectangles and press the Intersect option from the Pathfinder panel. Now expand the two shapes. Choose the intersected shape and add gradient to it, keeping the gradient slider on the left at 80% black and the right one at 50% black. Copy the clap. Select the copy, go to the Transform panel, and from the drop-down arrow, choose the Flip Horizontal option. Bring both claps on top of the slate and rotate the top one. The last illustration to draw is the hinge between the claps. To make this, select the star from the Shape tool. Click with this tool on the screen and a pop-up settings panel appears. Enter Radius 1 as 30 point, Radius 2 as 15 point, and Points as 3. Once done with this, select the drawing, fill it with white, and go to Effect, Stylize, Round Corners. From the pop-up settings menu that appears, enter the radius as 8. Next, draw an ellipse with the dimensions 60 point by 52 point. Select no color in both shapes. Bring the ellipse midway on the triangle. Copy the triangle by pressing Ctrl C and paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Select the copy of the triangle and the ellipse from the Pathfinder panel. Intersect and then expand them. Add gradients to the intersected shape and the original triangle. Add a lighter gradient to the intersected shape than the triangle. Remove strokes of both. To create the screws of the hinge, make a circle from the ellipse tool with the dimensions 5 point by 5 point. Copy and paste the circle. Increase the dimensions of the copied circle and send it backward. Insert lighter gradient in the original ellipse and a darker one in the copy at the back. Copy and paste both of the circles. Position these screws on the hinge and then select the complete object and place it on the claps. Your vector film slate is now ready for further use.